very exciting Apple news. So recently there was a car that was released from Apple that kind of looked like a surveillance cam, but I noticed it had these little infrared scanners on them, which is what Google has for their self-driving cars. Apple also has been hiring people who work on cars, including people from Tesla. Several sources have stated that Apple is working on a product that will give Tesla a run for their money. This could be a legitimate project, or it could be something completely different. Either way, I want to talk about the Apple car. Just some things that I would want on an Apple car personally, whether they be serious or funny, or just things that I think would make a car like that stand out. Apple has been known to change the industry they go into. There is nothing like an iPhone, nothing like an iPad, and now we're seeing Apple Watch might bring some new things to the table, who knows. But if they do go into the automobile industry, here are the things I think they should do to make them unique. So here we go. The first thing that I want in a car, like the Apple car, is manual and self-driving technology. So as we have seen in Google self-driving cars, we are coming close to the technology where and operating the wheel and doing all that stuff isn't necessary. It's a bit mindless work, which means a computer can do it. And I'll be honest, I want that. I'm a new driver, if you didn't know, and I think it's really boring. And in fact, I'm ready for a car to do the work for me so I can do other stuff while the car is in motion. Writing and, you know, texting and just stuff on other devices. Now, come on. You know what I meant. I also don't want it to be completely self-driving because as always, I think there should be a human override. I don't believe I've gotten to the point yet where I could do with no wheel at all. I think we're always gonna need an override button, at least for the next century. Number two, this one I feel like it will be a little bit iffy on. Obviously I'm expecting it's gonna have GPS integrated into it and I'm assuming that its navigational system will be Apple Maps. I personally love Apple Maps and I, but I, 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 I know a lot of people don't. But here's the thing though, I haven't heard any specific comments about it. That could be because I don't research it enough, but Apple Maps has never failed me. And I can actually recall three to four times where my friends have used Google Maps and gotten lost or sent to the wrong place. That's just me, I don't know what the nation has experienced. But back to the point, I think that Apple should have third party navigational systems. That means if someone wants to use Bing Maps, Yahoo Maps, of course, Google Maps, they should have that option too. This doesn't sound like Apple, but I would be very proud of them if they included this in their car. I think that'd be the smart thing to do to make everyone happy and more people interested in purchasing it. Number three, Siri control. Apple has already kind of done this with their iPhones that can connect to cars, is that they don't want you looking at your phone and texting, but they're okay with hands-free texting, meaning you're talking to Siri while you, how you're dictating to Siri, how you want to text to people. You could do this with a lot of things like set car to Los Angeles, drive me to the Grand Canyon. That way you're not like plugging in all this stuff into the GPS, which I think is a little annoying. I just want to get in the car and it feels so futuristic if you just sat there and went, take me to school. Siri, take me home. And it just drove you home. Again, I'm pretty sure that will happen if this car is true. So Siri control is something I want and it's something I definitely am expecting. Okay, number four, auto parking. Several cars at CES have shown that computers are capable of parallel parking and just regular parking in difficult scenarios. Parking is probably one of the trickiest parts of driving, for many young drivers especially. People get scraped all the time and I'm ready for a computer to take over that part. Again, I trust computers a lot in this scenario. I don't expect all of you to agree with this, but again, I think a computer that parks for you would just be so nice in so many scenarios that would make your life so much more convenient. Anytime you walk up to a space and it's like crowded in somewhere, you're just like, uh, Siri, why don't you park it for me, please? And then she just done. You don't even have to say thank you, she's a robot. Okay, I believe this is number five, and this is kind of a broad thing to ask for, but I'm gonna say efficient range. This also goes along with another request I have, which is full electric car, no more gas. Gas cars have so many problems because they have so many moving parts, not to mention they're bad for the environment, but that doesn't bother me as much. Sorry, sorry, I'm heartless against trees. But I want an electric car for the simplicity, the quietness of it, and gas is freaking expensive. And there's a political debate there about why gas should not be used if we had less demand from the Middle East and all that. This is a tech show, not a political show, sorry. I want good range in an electric car, which isn't common. I think Apple could revolutionize this somehow because there are good minds working at Apple. And if they came up with a battery that could get things really far in a really good way, that's just something I want. Just throwing that out there. So that was kind of five and six. 
This one I'm actually pretty excited about, and I haven't heard many people talk about it. So we have the Find My iPhone app. I would like a Find My Car app. You could think about this if it was stolen, sure, but also if you're just in a crowded parking lot. You don't want to, like, turn on the horn in your car and wake up a bunch of people or just disturb the public when you're just trying to find your car. You have, like, a little compass Find My Car app on your phone or iPad, and it just points where it is, and it tells you how far away, and then maybe the lights on it will blink a little bit. If you're just in a crowded place, I think that'd be really cool. There's many scenarios where I would want that. Next, this one's kind of silly, but I would really like it. So you know how when you lock your car, it goes boop, boop. I just think we could get creative with that. So just like you can control your ringtone in your iPhone, I think you should be able to control your lock noise with your Apple car. You should be able to point at it and it says, anything you want. It could be like cloak engaged or security systems at full level. Or it could just be something simple like da 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 and then your phone vibrates. I just think that's something that could have been really creative that no one's really taken off with yet. Again, that's kind of silly, I know, but it's something I want in a car. Apple wants to be new. That's something that would stick out and people be like, oh, that's what the Apple car does. I might spend all my money on one. It's a gimmick. I think it'd be cool. Here's another realistic thing that's kind of already happening and I want to call it insurance monitoring. This is when your insurance company is aware of the way you drive. A lot of you might hate this because you might be bad drivers. Me personally am a safe driver. If no one's behind me, I drive the speed limit. If someone is, I go five over. If two people are, I go 10 over. So on and so forth. And you know, I'm just a safe driver because I'm new at it and I think I should start well so that over time I'll get worse and worse. But I have a high starting point. Anyway, the insurance companies monitor how long you're above the speed limit and how safe a driver you are. You know, you don't make quick turns and stuff and they'll lower your insurance rates. That's a really cool idea to me, and you might see a lot more people driving safe out there because it's cheaper. Again, a lot of you people who drive fast might not like that, but I would personally do that because I'm a safe driver and saving money's awesome. Next, this is something we've seen in a lot of futuristic movies, but I haven't really seen in the tech world yet, which is a windshield display. Not something right on the road, but on the windshield, it could have like your speed on the top, or if you get a text message, it'd be like notification center. It'd come out of the side or the top. That way you don't look down away from the road. Your eyes stay there. Or maybe you could like track lines on the road in hazardous scenarios. So you know where the road's going if there's low visibility. You could even move your entire speedometer, your RPM, all that stuff on the windshield. I don't know. I just feel like that's cool and that people haven't done it yet and it's possible. So do that, Apple. The next one is kind of broad also. I'm calling it extreme visibility. So some cars have moon roofs on the top, some bigger than others, and some cars just have tiny windows, and I just think that's dumb. I want a car where the windows are huge, and like the entire surface of it is a moon roof. You can turn all the way around, and it's almost like being in a convertible, except you are protected by safe glass. But just total visibility, you know, very little blind spots, because we hate blind spots, and they can cause accidents. So lots of window space, please. That's what I would want. This is another one that's been in several cars that I want Apple to include, or make sure to include. Wi-Fi hotspot. Very simple, just like a carrier. If you pay a monthly subscription or whatever, or if you don't have it, what, whatever. You could plug your phone in maybe, because that has a cellular service, and the car provides Wi-Fi. For the other passengers to use, and of course for your navigational system, you'd probably need that. Yeah, definitely needs a Wi-Fi hotspot within the car, so we can all play on our phones instead of talking to each other and looking at the beautiful things outside. Welcome to the future. Okay, this is my last thing for today, and I haven't heard anyone talk about this yet, but I want there to be multiple models of the Apple car. What I mean is maybe a truck, a smaller type car that could fit two to four people, and an SUV. The car they released was a van, and I hate vans. Sliding doors either break or the automatic ones are too slow. Just use an actual door. They work. And SUVs look cooler. You can't make a minivan look cool. So yeah, just like three variations. A truck, a smaller car, and an SUV. They could be different price points. Probably the smaller one, the cheapest. An SUV being the most expensive because they all have different memory configuration. No. One more thing I'll tack on there and then I'm going to say we're good is that we have technologies where you don't have a key, but the car knows when you have this little chip on your keychain. And when that chip is in range, it unlocks for you. That way you don't have to get your key in and unlock it. And when you walk away from it, it locks itself or you can press a button, make sure it's locked. Cars are doing that. I want to make sure Apple does that too. So those are the things I want in the Apple car. I'm not a car person. I don't really like cars or study cars or fix cars or any of that stuff. But if Apple made one, now I'm getting interested because I'm a tech guy and I've been with Apple since the beginning. What features would you like in an Apple car? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.